G'day people, here I am in the uh, beautiful Pilbara. Uh, I'm going to talk today about the stupidity of modern Dometic fridge shelving, which is mind-bogglingly dumb. Okay, here we go. Okay, here is the kitchen of my van, and I installed a CRX 140 this year. Now I've got no issues with the performance of the fridge as far as keeping things cold. It's done the job very well, but shelving. Now you wouldn't think shelving in a fridge could possibly be difficult to do. You've got grooves, the shelves should slide through the groove and there it will stay and it won't jump out of the groove, right? But what did they do? It doesn't, the shelf doesn't go into the groove. Because it was designed by a moron. Now, you see, it, the shelf is seated here with this one tab at the end, that's all, and then one tab here at the front. And all the rest of the shelf is not in the groove. So what happens, oh, the other stupidity, <laughs> this is another piece of stupidity, so normally you would expect these things would be parallel, right? So they would you'd start at the start of the groove, start at the start of the groove, and it would slide all the way through. But as you can see, it doesn't it doesn't start at the start of the groove. It doesn't connect until you get two-thirds of the way along, and then it's in the groove. But of course then it's in the wrong groove because you've got no way of knowing which groove it's supposed to be in as you can't see right and then when it finally gets to the end it seats in the groove oh look what's happened here we've got the front the front tab seated in a different groove to the back tab right i mean it's just stupidity on the part of a moron that decided he was going to redesign shelving absolute fucking stupidity you know that guy needs to go to jail if you're listening to it what are you doing with a job dude you, you obviously have no no idea what you're doing and you should reimburse everyone that you fucked over with your idiot design. So what do you do about it? Well, what we need to do is to stop... Well, ideally, you just get, make new shelves and put them in. But of course, they wouldn't be parallel because they missed it, Captain Moron and his second piece of stupidity. All right, anyway, the big problem here... All right, let's say you've, you've figured out how to get your shelf in, right? The problem is, everything's fine, you go over a bump, you go over a bump, and the rear tab jumps up, up just a little bit, and then it slides forward, and then your shelf collapses like that, which you can do uh, while it's still in there, and then the bottom shelf collapses as well, and then all of your food and your shelves wind up on the top of the crisper which is not where you want them. And of course, probably if anything was was relying on being stable to avoid leaking, it's just going to leak. And you'll have, you know, yogurt all over the all over the crisper and all over everything, your cheese and your bacon and your bread will just be covered in yogurt and, and drinks and God knows what else. Whatever you had that was liquid, it's going to be all over your fridge. Thanks to Captain Moron who decided he would redesign a shelf. So, what do you do about it? And by the way, this has happened to me, which is why I'm making this. Happened a couple of times to me. And then the last time it happened, this shelf, when it came down, somehow it wedged itself. The, the drinks in the, in the drawer came forward and the door wedged the drinks underneath the shelf say like this except for all of the all of the bottles and then and then I couldn't open the door because the shelf is hooked onto the bottle top like that I couldn't open the door at all like it was much worse than that little illustration I just gave you so what do you do about it well you need to stop 
you need to stop those things from that bottom tab from jumping out. And to stop it, you need to put uh, you need to put something into the groove above the tab so it can't pop out. Right? Can't pop out. That's what you need so you can lock yourself into position. So the ideal thing to do. Here's some gear. Never go anywhere, people, without your drill, your hammer, your saw. Oh, yes. Never go anywhere without an angle grinder and a vice. That's my advice. Always take a vice. Okay. So you get yourself a strip of aluminium, like that, and you cut it so that it's just slightly shorter than the from the end of the tab to the end of the tab just very slightly shorter just to make sure that it fits into the groove now you cut yourself a couple of strips of thinner aluminium just long enough to uh, go from one tab to the second one across and the same on the other side like that and you want to drill holes uh, right in the middle of that. Okay, so I've drilled holes in the main strip. I've also drilled holes in the thinner strip. Doesn't have to be thinner, by the way. Maybe you're better off having the same thickness as the original strip. And uh, don't forget that the holes themselves in the bottom strip are going to have those small strips are going to have to be able to take a thread. So in order to do that, you make sure that the uh, you don't drill your holes in those as thick as the as the screw itself and then you just screw them screw your screws into the uh, strip and it will create the thread and I uh, if you haven't got anything with you I just use the ground so we just screw them into screw them into the Pilbara dirt hang on like like this Hard to do this with one hand. All right. Yeah, screw it down into the into the dirt. Until you've got a nice thread established. Then you unscrew them and we'll go on to the next section. Now you don't want to use wood screws for this. Uh, tech screws are probably not the greatest idea, but just any kind of uh, Sheet metal screws, self-tapping sheet metal screws would be just fine. Okay, now you uh, put your shelf in position exactly where you want it. Make sure you've got the right location in the fridge because it's not going to be moving once you put it in. And you put your strip in just near the back. It's close, to, pretty close to the back, up against this uh, movable, the movable section there. That's the place to put it. Now, our uh, second piece. Where is it? Can't see it. Oh, there it is. We get a second piece, and you put that in underneath, in line with the screws. In line with the screws, what you have already put in place, and you screw it in. Now you just. You just screw them in. Hang on, I'll just line up this light. There we go. You screw them in with your stubby screwdriver. Now, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but I never go anywhere without a couple of stubby screwdrivers, especially a two point Phillips head. I can't see what I'm doing because the bloody camera's in the way. Alright, screw them in like that. And Bob's your uncle. And Fanny's your aunt. Now, here we have the fridge. So there you have it, people. Another piece of stupidity fixed the Martian way. Uh, if you go along and do the same thing, with a bit of luck, you'll never have the problem of shelves jumping out again. As for the fool that designed this, I've got two things to say to you. One. Make yourselves parallel to make them sit in the grooves. It's not rocket science. You're just a fool. Bye now.
Oh yes, if you want to see some more of my content, why don't you check out my video about, my country music video about four inverters dying. That's pretty exciting.